20K Yard Sales Arena here with Uncle Benji, the vintage tool man, with a yard sales show for the weekend of October the 1st. We started off really early Saturday morning because I had a benefit in the afternoon and we wanted to get in as much yard sailing as we possibly could. So we were in Severna Park before 7 in the morning. We went to Severna Park because an ad on Craigslist said tools, tools, tools. And he had a ton of tools, but some of them were kind of pricey and a lot of the tools Uncle Vinti already had. So Uncle Vinti didn't buy any tools, but I found some pretty cool items. First item was the step stool. These are actually stairs from an old Chris Craft boat. They're made out of mahogany and I love them. And I actually needed a step stool, so I got those. I also bought an old Model T wheel these sell for about $50 online. We bundled all of this, so I can't really give you individual prices, but I'll tell you the, what we paid at the end. It's wood spokes. It's wooden spokes, so it's quite old. We got, to, this is a watercolor print uh, by an artist called G. Lalong. He painted a lot of uh, scenes in England and France. This is in France, La Concorde, I believe. And if you can come over here, Uncle Venti. I got this bench, this really nice vintage bench, and we got it specifically to go out here on our porch. That was $15. I got some really lovely um, pulleys. pulleys, thank you. These have brass on them, and they actually have initials. I really haven't had a chance to look them up, but he, what did he ask on those? It's not very much. Four dollars. Four dollars. Uh, but we'll sand these and refinish them. I think they're worth quite a bit of money. And then I got this big old pulley just because I thought it was cool. I think he charged me four bucks for that too. Along with this, I got a nice old Pepsi Cola box. We were just at a sale today. And what were they asking for the box? Fifteen for the Pepsi. Fifteen for this Pepsi box. Um, was that all I got from him? I think that was it. That totaled $70. And when I looked all the items up on eBay, conservatively, $240. Wow, not too bad, eh? Okay. Um, <clears throat> next, we went to a church sale up in Severna Park. And we got two sewing machines, or at least two a sewing machine and a sewing machine cabinet. This is a Red Eye Singer sewing machine. I actually looked it up. Uh, Someone has altered the case. It's, it's not from the 1921. Case. It is from 1921. It's a Model 66. This would sell just the machine itself for anywhere from fifty to one hundred dollars depending upon the shape and this one is in that's got some dirt on there but it's it's in really good condition we haven't plugged it in uh, to test it out but we're gonna put this in a different case this is not the original case and this case is kind of a mess but I loved that I paid twenty dollars for that I also paid twenty dollars for this treadle sewing machine be careful Uncle Vinti don't trip on my steps. This is a nice antique treadle sewing machine. Obviously someone has painted this, which doesn't bother me, uh, but it does need to be repainted. And these are not the original drawer knobs, but I do think it's a really nice decorative piece. I paid $20 for that also. Okay, a yard sale that I went to in Bowie. I picked up this nice western jug. It's not that old, but what I liked about it was the fact that the top was blue, and I thought that was really kind of nice. It does have a small little chip out of the top, but this is going in my crop collection. From that same woman, I picked up two old bottles. This is an old orange crush bottle. And I've just rinsed these out with soap and water, but you can see it looks like they need to be, what do they call that when you put the beads in there and spin it down? Lapped. No. Uh, 
<laughs> this is a Buckeye brand. This is actually a beer bottle. So for all those items, I paid $2. All right. Um, at yet another yard sale in Bowie, this woman had been an antiques dealer. I picked this up. This is from the Fire Insurance Company in Baltimore. These are really neat. This is an, a replica from the 1950s. I paid $8 for this, but it's worth, I, I would say, at least $50, maybe up. There's one listed on eBay for $170. Hasn't sold yet. Uh, this has some neat history. Back in the 1700s and 1800s, uh, they started selling fire insurance. And people would buy fire insurance and hang this up on their home. Now I've heard two versions of the story. Either the fire, the insurance companies had fire brigades or there were just independent fire brigades out there. Anyway, if you had this on your home, the fire brigade would come and put your fire out and get reimbursed from the fire insurance company. So interesting, interesting history with these. And we thought that was an old railroad car, but that's actually a pumper that pumped water at the, at the fires. Apparently it took a large number of people to pump this, to operate this. So I really liked that. Also from her, I got this neat old open sign. And she had gotten this from an antique store that was closing. I paid $5 for that. So I really did like that. As you can see, I have it hanging on my mailbox and I think I'm just gonna leave it there. All right, the... Yeah, the willow. Uh, oh, the blue willow, yeah. Um, this was at yet another yard sale in the buoy. This was the woman that has the church pew that we're probably gonna go back and buy. Uh, anyway, she had these blue willow dishes. They're from England. They're dishwasher and microwave safe. I paid a dollar each for those. Those are sell on eBay for at least five dollars each. And then the last sale we went to was in Old Bowie, and we bundled a number of items. This nice oil lamp. These antique trains, which I paid a dollar a piece for. These sell for about $10 each. I know, hard to believe, isn't it? Those antique train. Train just is a generic term for something that uh, stirred things up. People used it for their bread dough and batters. And Santa. I got this. Actually found this online. This is a Santa. He's dirty. He needs some cleaning. He was carved from an old buoy. It's actually signed on the back by the artist. The artist's name is Brian Hall. It was in the year 1996, and he numbers all of his Santas. This was 248. 48. He is still carving. You can still buy these online. He has He's, a video. He has a video on YouTube. He's from Maine, and these sell anywhere from $55 up to $375. I paid a buck for him. He's cute. He's really cute. I do like him. All right. I think that's it. Uncle Vinti, I'm going to turn it over to you so you can show the tools that yeah. you bought. And we paid $12. We, we bundled paid, this. Yeah, we paid $12 for all of this stuff. The, the lamp, the buoy, Santa, and the train. And I got a few items. Uh, got a chuck inflating tires, and some pneumatic coupler, and a half inch extension for a wrench, for a socket wrench, and then I got a 3 8 inch socket. Okay. Uh, mine broke recently, so I got another one. And then this large, looks like an antique screwdriver. Can you like hold it up maybe? Um, it's blending in with my scarecrow or whatever you call oh. that thing. Okay. Turn there. it, uh, okay. There. There you go. Anyway, Can this was about $2 for the, for, the, for the set of these. It's fine. Okay, I couldn't see the end of the screwdriver. It's ginormous. It's, it's a, a large a ginormous. Screw. So we bundled that off for $12 and stuff that Andy K got and, and these tools. And I think, oh, we've got the turtle. 
Oh my turtle. gosh, okay, pick up the turtle, Uncle turtle. Vinci. Oh, this is a turtle to Aunt Kay guy. <laughs> <laughs> Turn him over so you can't tell he's a turtle. He's a Turn turtle. Turn him there sideways, like it's there. like he's walking. There you go. There he is. He's a turtle. Aunt Kay tried to get it for a dollar, but they wanted two dollars for it, so <laughs> she gave two dollars for it. He needs, we're going to try taking that off and washing it and see how it does, or getting it clean. clean. It Either that or we'll uh, recover him, one of the two. And there. that's it for the, the Art Sale Show for October the 1st, 2011. We did forget one thing. What's that? This, the baby, the baby. Oh, the baby thing. Oh, oh. do that. Are you still on? Yeah. Alright, this is this is a, a baby high chair. Doesn't have the, the tray. tray. I paid two bucks for that. I it, that. yeah. It I think it'd be good for a doll. Okay, so that really is it. We'll be back next week with more yard sale finds. Bye.